it will be said that there are no sandbaggers. That I made this whole thing up. I know because I was told I was talking about distinguished people and spreading rumors about them when I tried to stop John Shulman by reporting him to the postal police for mail fraud. He was eventually apprehended on a $6 million museum heist, but not before I was run out of town by his gang and the police representing him. This is not going to get ahead of the sandbaggers. At best, it will represent a little bit about them that makes it possible to identify, identify that they exist and who the suspects are and why. That they can, we would hope, exonerate themselves. I am no stranger to false accusations. I was under investigation as somebody who was uh, a petty uh, mule for showmen. And I was arrested on a armed robbery charge after getting home from the governor's school where he also attended and studied. An absurdity, absurd theater stunt. All of it is absurd theater. Yanis very focus says that it's surreal, triumph of the surreal having German police arrest Jewish protesters indignant about God's on charges of anti-Semitism. One clear characteristic of the sandbaggers is that it's a Mobius absurdity. It works in your head like this. Oh, how can a Jew be anti-Semitic? But if they were protesting God's, it means they're anti-Semitic. So I don't know what it means. What is a Zionist? Oh, my God. Ah! And the tea kettle goes off. Another example would be O.J., Owen Jones, the uh, man in position on the front lines to document for all of our heartbreak the morbid unreality of the obscenity of genocide being visited on Gaza. But he's never uttered a peep against Yoko Ono's stride manipulation to avail and bring victory for those who released HIV. Oh, but he's gay. How can he be helping the people who started HIV if he's gay? Oh, my God, no. It's an obvious which is a reality of the Western Theater. Get on! And the tea kettle goes off. Sandbaggers include Blumenthal, Max Blumenthal, the front linesman, who by coming to the rescue of Israel's victims, who he understands perfectly well. He is rubbing in your face. I mean, advocating for the victims. And the incendiary, insulting, abusive Norman Finkelstein, who has the gall to say that people not like him deserve an Academy Award for their performance. These are the sandbaggers on the front lines. Rubbing our faces, and I mean advocating for the victims. And Joe Biden has a program at the FBI that will inject you in HIV over two virgins, that will rip or murder an innocent bystander over a penny claimed by the Green Party. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my God. They started HIV, but they put up the clinics. They put up the clinics. They're the ones who are helping the victims. They're the ones that, they're the ones that deserve the holy penny, the holy penny. So the white man slashes the, the black girl. The, I mean, the white girl, the white man slashes the white girl. For, and so the, the black man gets a penny. And uh, oh my God, it's so miraculously rational. These are the sandbaggers. They come from oppo world. For them, virginity proves rape. And how do we know that? Well, virginity is on this side and our bias is on this side. I mean, virginity is on this side with our bias and over here it's rape with our bias. And since it's balanced between our bias, they weigh the same. Where do we put the penny? We put the penny on virginity. Virgin now it proves rape because it's heavier than innocence. 
And this they call the hmm test, stroking their wise beards. Hmm. These are the sandbaggers. The sandbaggers knew that Hamas was going to trigger a huge maelstrom, a justified genocide, they said. We'll justify genocide by getting the dog to bark. They pulled this on me, right? They tell me that I'll be safe if I let them castrate and they won't rip or homicide any more victims. And then they, what do they do? They rip or homicide a victim. I lose my temper. I lose my temper. So they lock me up. You may not, is, is, you, are you are not entitled to be, lose your temper when somebody is ripper murdered. You are not entitled to lose your temper if someone is ripper murdered. That's grand theft of a penny. And this makes sense in all of their heads. They say that resonates with me, man. That's, what, that's their language skill system. That resonates with me, man. And all of the all of the directors of the major league franchise and football teams are completely in tune with Donald Trumpy Tunes notions. And they buy this goblin stuff. And people like Randy Akalik are no different. To them, virginity proves possessiveness man which is the moral equivalent of right when you're in the dating game with the Beatles and they bring Ringo Starr down to play Borges the Argentinian with his friends own asses tell you what we'll do we'll give queer ball a bimbo hottie with give him what he wants and then he'll be in a blood debt situation he's been nobody in the world is more totally psychopathic about virginity than Mick Jagger and Joe Biden. They are totally psychopathic about it. Totally. And they are in control of the demonstrations against the genocide in Gaza. They're sandbaggers.